So good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and evening as well. I acknowledge the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. I'm speaking from Lutrawida, the land of the Muanina people. The First Nations people are the original observers of, of our land and waters, and I hope that we can continue in their traditions. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. This is the fourth Open Data Cube conference, and this time I'm the outgoing steering council chair. We've had a, had a crazy last year, and it continues to be stressful and strange in all kinds of ways. But out of the isolation and the Zoom overload, we have some opportunities to do things differently. And this conference is one of them. While we can't expect to ask people to travel, we can include a much broader audience. So welcome to you all. And for the first time, we have two public broadcast keynote sessions distributed in time so we can cater for everyone. It's great to see so many people registering. In total, we have over 400 registered for the various events throughout the week. And thank you for getting involved. On that note, I think that the Open Data Cube has, has reached a level where we have a lot more people involved in using the tool. And those people are more and more able to get productive without a heavy reliance on existing experts. More accessible software project means a broader community, which means more people helping to make it better, which is a win for everyone. I'd also like to mention that we have achieved a milestone of the Open Data Cube being recognized as an OSGO community project. This is a significant achievement and involves stepping up our maturity in a range of areas, such as license clarity, code of conduct and contributor guidelines. We have more to do to achieve the level of a full OSGO project, and I'm keen to work on that over the next year. Before we move into presentations, I'd just like to note that there are a range of activities that you can participate in actively over the next few days. From easy ones like a training course to help you learn how to use the Open Data Cube, through to reporting and fixing or enhancing documentation, all the way to implementing new case studies and learning together as part of the EO Women's Sprint. So let's approach this week in the spirit of community, sharing, learning, teaching, being humble and bold, gentle and vulnerable, and together we can create something more than the sum of its parts, or at least make what we have a little bit better. The format for today's session is five pre-recorded presentations followed by live Q&A. If you have questions, please include them in the Q&A section and presenters will answer them at the end. 